Well, it's Tuesday, the 2nd of May, and it did rain a bit last night, and as a result, the pond is almost full. It's gone up about another three or four inches since I left here yesterday, so another couple of good heavy rainfalls, and that should be taken care of. Uh, the peas are looking pretty strong, uh, that's their first night out and today I've been digging over here oh, again and that's where my spring onions are going to go. You'd be surprised, there's only about a matter of three or four weeks since I dug that over and it was absolutely riddled with deep rooted weeds which I now seem to have eradicated from that stretch I've still got to do this bit here and this bit here but I've got to leave a space at the bottom end here for a path so I'll have to mark that out but anyway that's enough space now for my runner beans, not runner beans, uh, spring onions so I'll be coming out and putting those out later honestly I've had enough for today it's been digging and bending and weeding and it's just been hard work. Uh, I can't do much digging so that's where I'm going to stop today on that bit. Uh, as you can see there's a bed there which gives something away doesn't it? It suggests that my little friend is with me today. There he is. Hello Molly. Hello boy. Ignore me if you wish. I can soon get his attention but it would be unfair and cruel. So I won't. I've only got to say one word. Do you want to go? Molly? Do you, do you want to, I didn't even say the word did I? Wait. Do you want to go? Where? Where do you want to go? Come here. Where do you want to go? Wait, look at me. You with your fur coat on. Are you suggesting that you want to go somewhere? Eh? Hey? Yeah, you're looking down the path, aren't you? <laughs> well, I think that's what I will do. It's an absolute scorcher again today. And, yeah, stay there for a minute, Marley, and then we'll go for a little wander. Uh, this is what I did yesterday, and everything is looking good. Those are the spring ones, they've really got to go out. So, that's why I've been working my socks off over there, but I really haven't got the energy to do them today. Does anybody know, does Cosmos work with petunias, pansies and lavender. Uh, the reason I'm asking is I want to get a bit of colour around the pond. I'm going to put some slates and rubble there, not rubble but rocks, you know, nice ones. And I'm going to fill the holes up with soil. So I want to plant in some colourful plants around the rockery. So I've never been much of a flowers person. So if anybody could give me some ideas, I've already got lavender, I've already got those William Asian mix, Asiatic mix. So, I want something that goes with lilliums, um, lavender, um, I've got cosmos growing here, got quite a few different varieties of cosmos. I would put a sunflower there, but it's quite exposed, so it'll probably get blown over in the summer. Uh, that's because, that's if slugs don't get it because of the pond. Uh, anyway, quick update on what's happening in the greenhouse. This is what's arrived since yesterday. These are the tomato uh, seedlings that I potted on yesterday and they all seem to have taken, which is good news. Over there, a little bit more life on the corn. Uh, definitely more life on the purple potted peas. And the Kelvin and Wonders are moving on a bit, so they'll have to go outside onto my pea plot. 
but not quite yet. Uh, as for beans, still too early, but these are the blue lakes and these are the scarlet emperors, as you can see. Not a great deal happening there. More tomatoes there, all money makers. Uh, more cosmoses, Mesobrenthium, um, Gadesha. Uh, oh, I meant to take some uh, quick shots of my Lobelia from home. I'll do that when I get home today, uh, just to show you how they're going. And these are the tomato cuttings that Ben kindly sent to me. So Ben, I really would like to know if you know what variety they are, mate. Okay. All right. One last thing I did today. I cleared out the tub that was outside the greenhouse. And it's quite a big tub with rope handles on the side. And I've put my mint there. And by golly, it smells gorgeous as I come out of the greenhouse. That's a really good strong, it's a peppermint variety. And it really is a nice strong scent and a good good flavour. It goes lovely with lamb. Uh, I don't know what it's like in alcoholic beverages because I'm not one for partaking thereof. But I'm sure some of you will know. I haven't got a clue what variety it is. All I know is a peppermint. There we go. Chives are in flower. These are buzzing with bees yesterday. And... There's no sign of any bees today. Maybe they know something we don't. Right, time to take Marley walkies. Hey, is it time to go walkies? Want to go walkies? Yes, we do, don't we? Hey, Marley. Yep. So that's the message. Catch you soon. Bye for now.